How's it going guys? It's Revelations and today we are back with another Revelations Reviews. With that, today we are reviewing Wills of Aurelia. I hope I pronounce, I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Who really knows? So with that, this game is out on Steam currently. You can get it for about $9.99. Uh, there is a soundtrack you can buy for $5 according to Steam. This game is a narrative road trip game set in the roaring Italian 70s. It tells the story of Lila, a restless woman driving on the roads of the western coast of Italy, the famous Vis Aurelia, which is, I'm assuming, why the game is called Wills of Aurelia. So with that, we're going to jump right into it with a new game. I've never played this before. I got it from the itch.io bundle that happened a while back. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. If you do know what it is, then you probably have the same games. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to move my face down where it belongs real quick. And we're going with this nice music in the background. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. I really hope not. If so, it's going to suck. But yeah, we're going to hit new game. Do we get to pick our vehicle? Who's your car? I would like a purple one, please. We have red, blue, black, and green. I think we're going to go with the... I think we'll just stick with the nice buggy. I like the buggy. The buggy seems nice to me. Start game, start from intro, start from, there's no other options. I guess here we go. Drink up some coffee. Mm-hmm. Now off we go. So we do steer using the mouse it seems. Okay, so you can hit things endlessly it seems. I'm running out of cigarettes. Okay. Oh, you, I can switch things. Should I quit smoking? Dot or dot. Can I stop at the bar and buy a pack? I want to quit smoking, please. They will give you cancer. Should I quit smoking? Not tonight. Let's look for the bar. Yes, I should. In another life? No. And then dot dot dot. What? I don't know. No smoking. It's bad for you. Okay. It's fine. We'll just do the dot dot dot. Doesn't really seem like there's too many controls here. The only controls that there are, move mouse right, move mouse left, and that's to not die. I just ran that guy like head in and that nothing happened. Can we get pulled over if we just like swerve all night? It does have a nice aesthetic. Can we pull in here? We can, it looks like that's what I wanted us to do. Where is everybody? The long straight road gives me the creeps. Let's just do where is everybody. Should we give her a voice? Where is everybody? Oh my guess, watching breaking news. Well, who cares? The night is mine. Yeah, we're not going to do that voice very long. That's going to be about it for the voice. Watching breaking news. Uh-huh. Oops. I wonder if there's a way to, like, like enter. The Piper Disco isn't far from here. Speed up, Lila. Speed up, Lila. Can I, like, make this enter quicker? Is that possible? Oh, I can also use W, A, S, and D. Or, I'm sorry, just A and D. And use this. Oh, this is sweet. Get to the disco before it closes. There's no traffic, so you can. Yep, that one. There's no way to click enter on it, it doesn't seem. There's no traffic, so you can. Yeah, we just gave that guy a bad insurance day. Speed, what what a feeling. Okay. Just back and forth. Here we go. Speed. What a feeling. So by the way, if you if just right off, I probably should let you know. This game does have a Oh that's great. This game does have mixed reviews on Steam. I'm starting to understand why. The Piper Disco isn't far from here. Who knows? Maybe I'll meet someone too. Yeah, another night standing against the wall. Okay, cool. We're here. What's gonna happen? That's the question. I beat the game. I won. I'm a professional. I am gonna move my face so that you can see the um, characters and so on. There we go. Cool. Well guys, this was uh, Wills of Aurelia. I hope you enjoyed the game. I beat it. I am a professional. I won. 
Okay, we only have been recording for like six minutes. Honestly, if this game doesn't kind of like bring me in at all, which it's, it's really not, I may call this video at like 10, 11 minutes compared to the other ones. Or I might give you my decision at 11 minutes. And then if you want to continue to watch, you can. I will go for the normal time because I feel as if it would be unfair for me not to. So, yeah, we just got to keep on going. Please don't put me on another road. I'm on another road. We have me and Miss Olga. No, do you ever have your eyes on the road, Olga? Obviously not. Look at her. She said eyes on the what? The, not the road. What was that? He just phased through me. Oh, look at that. This is sick. Can I ride backwards? This is nice. Just doing 360s down the road. I'm just gonna leave a thing of clouds everywhere. What's the point in just driving straight? To get where you're going faster. What is that? What kind of vehicle is that? Is that like a little mini spaceship? I don't know. I do realize right now that my face is in like the worst spot. Covering up Miss Olga. Good old Olga. Really, what kind of kid were you? A tomboy, you know, soccer and all that. Opiate? Ah, soccer, the opiate of the Italian people. I learned plenty of soccer. Name one thing. What do you mean, name one thing? That feeling when a girl dribbles past the boy. Like drool? I don't know a lot about soccer, so I'm assuming it means just like passing. Okay, you got me. Something, something, something. Are you a cat person or a dog person? My father has an Afghan hound. I hate him. Cat, stray cat for the record. We're definitely getting a dog. Ain't that right, Summit? Yep, that's what I thought. You hate the dog or your father? I hate how my father loves that dog. They do say pets are like owners, start to look like. What? I don't like the main character. The main character is lame. She hates dogs. She's emo and like, meh, look at me. Have you ever been outside Rome before? The road trip can't believe how we're doing it. Hey, thanks for stopping. Let us give you a ride. We have room, hop in. Who are you, where are you headed? I guess we're just gonna ask him where he's headed. This man does not look like a safe person though. The Bracano, first on the right. Bra Bracano. Um, Lila, nice to meet you. Sorry, I was just talking with my friend Olga. This guy looks like a mix between Quagmire from Family Guy and uh, the guy from every Adam Sandler movie. Not Adam Sandler, but the guy who always is like the crazy dude with the one jacked up eye like this every single time. It looks like a mix between those two. We're just going to say thanks. I said, go ahead, go ahead. Probably not how he said it, but it works. Did you see the San, San Remo music festival? I'm sorry, not my cup of tea. No, what did I miss? We're going to do no edit, I miss. Look, we can tip over the ship. Boston Tea Party time. No, stupid car. Uh, nope, what did I miss? The singer Anna Oxa, she's dressed up like a man. Eee! No. <laughs> What's the world coming to? Right? That's the stretch for Italian public TV. I guess we'll do that one. She made it to second place anyway. Classic. We love pushing boundaries in moderation. Who came in first? It's gonna be some guy. Who cares? The girl was dressed like a man. <laughs> Touche. Touche, Olga. Oh, look at that, I just barely dodged that car. The French Riviera, you in? So, the, your name, Olga, what's the story there? Wait, we don't know this girl? Huh. I don't know, Grand. I think it means Holy One. Nice. Holy One Olga. Sounds like a type of Nutri-Grain bar. Holy One Olga. Or a type of ice cream. To run away, to control your fate, what a feeling. 
Are you okay leaving the radio on? Leaving, leaving the radio on, that's my bad. I can't read. Lila, a hitchhiker. Where at? Yeah, we should absolutely not pick him up. Can we stay as far to this side as possible? No. All right, come on, hop in. Let us give you a ride. Where are you headed? Where are you going? Franco, first exit on the right, man. That's how I imagine this guy says, no problem, go ahead. That's how I hear this man. Thank you. All right, we need to hit a checkpoint of some sort or do something that is not driving on this road constantly. Do I speak French? The answer is no. See, this? what this says is no in gibberish. I'll take that as a yes. Do I take it right or left? Left, right. Oh, can I turn around? I can go the opposite way now? Wait a second. Can I really go back? Hold up. I want to try going this way. What? Look at the game. It has so much progression and development. I can go left and right. What? All right. Any news about President Moro? You mean President Moron? <laughs> I hate this game so much so far. Um, as of right now, as we continue to go through this amazingly, awesomely crafted dialogue, I'm just going to say not my cup of tea. I would not pay rooster. What's what's your sign, Lila? Rooster. Rooster. There's no rooster in the zodiac. Ha ha ha! That was the joke. This is dumb. Um. So I'm just not a fan of the main characters. I'm not a fan of the storytelling. It doesn't really. It seems like if I wanted to have this, I would just like watch any TV show ever. Oh, speaking of, it should ask if we wanted to do a TV quiz. I think. All right, so we're gonna call it probably. What are we at? We're at like a little over 11 and a half minutes. Yeah, we'll give it another minute and hope that something happens. And if not, you have my uh, my warning. I would not, sounds bad, I know. I'm sorry, game creators. This isn't just for me, or this is just my opinion. I wouldn't spend $10 on this game. Looking at the Steam review page, it doesn't really seem like many other people are willing to either. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is... Wait, whoa. Progression? What's happening? Oh, something's happening. Did we get progression? Did something happen? Changed my mind. Now is the time. I'm pregnant. Oh, did it really just play the I'm pregnant female card? Every single story game ever plays that. Now yeah, we have to protect or do something for the pregnant lady. I, I understand. It's a sensitive thing, but... It's a game. Why bring that into a game? It just, the game tries so hard to make it like mean more than it does. And it doesn't mean anything. I mean, it means a lot in real life, but in a game, it's just, it's a waste of space. It's a waste of time. All right, I'm gonna call it with that. Not a fan of the storyline thus far. And yes, I have been reading it. I've been talking and reading it at the same time. But not a big fan of the storyline. Um, not my cup of tea. I wouldn't recommend this game if you are watching. But if you have watched the video and you enjoyed the little commentary made throughout and you enjoyed the video and you, you thought it's like, hey, now I know not to give this game, please feel free to leave a like. It helps me, it helps the channel, and it helps small channels such as myself on YouTube grow. So with that, one last time I want to say thank you so much for watching. It means a ton. And if you want to see more content or live content, you can jump over to twitch.tv and you can find me at Revelations GC where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Sometimes I miss a day because I'm really busy or I'm resetting videos or something like that. But yes, you look pregnant. No, you don't look pregnant because we can't see anything from your like, your ribs down. Uh, I don't like this game. So yeah, with that guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next Revelations Reviews, Modern Warfare, or Fallout 76, or even a stream. And if you stop by, make sure you say hey and let me know you're from my YouTube. Have a good one and peace out.